Hello, welcome to another episode of SOLIDWORKS tutorial on how to use features in SOLIDWORKS to design a part. In my previous video, I showed you how to use the Revolve Boss feature to design this part. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the Swept Boss feature to design the handle of, uh, handle of this candlestick. In using the Swept Boss feature, first we have to sketch our sweep part and our sweep section. First, we will start with sketching our sweep part. I will be sketching our sweep part on the front plane. So what we do, we, we come here, we click on front plane, then sketch. See, a sketch is being opened on the front plane. To view it, to view it in a proper, we click on front. Yeah, okay, it's much better. So we zoom in. Okay, we will be, we will be design, we will be sketching our sweep part at, from here. So we, we zoom in here. Okay. Then uh, also we go to view. We come here, we go to view. Then uh, here it shows temporary axis. We click on temporary axis. So we want the temporary axis line to be visible because we want to sketch our sweep part from this line. Okay. So to view it, to first of all, we come here, we click on hidden lines, remove. Uh, the view is much better now. Then we click on line. And from this temporary axis, we draw a horizontal line. Then we put a smart, we put a dimension, a dimension here to be 60 millimeter. So we type 60, then enter. Now the next step is is to design this part. Here we will be using the tangent app feature to design this this area. So we come here, we click on the, the tangent arc, click here, tangent arc, uh, then from this point, we click, then, okay, okay, yeah, and also we, we, we move it to the, to any location, later we will use a smart dimension to put the dimension to the accurate dimension. So press it in location, then escape. Then hit press escape. Now we will then uh, sketch this other area, the curve area that looks like a like a semicircle. So we use a we use a tangent arc also. So we click on here tangent arc. From this point, we click. Then make it round from here. We place it. Okay, then press escape. Uh, they are all undefined now. Later, uh, we, will, we will use the smart dimension to put all the dimension to make it fully defined. Now we then click on smart dimension to put the dimensions. Click on smart dimension. Then this tangent arc, we want it to be 150. So we type 150, that's the radius, then enter. And also the radius of this other tangent arc, uh, we want that to be 20. So 20. Uh, and also the height, the height from this point to this point, uh, that should be 65 millimeter. So I type 65 and enter. As you can see, it's still not fully defined. So we will add a relation between this line, this point, and this point. So we hold control and select the two points. Then here, under add relations, we click horizontal, then OK. And also, 
we'll be adding uh, we will use the smart dimension to, to put the dimension from this line, this horizontal line, to the base. So we select from this point to, to this line, and we want that to be 10 millimeter. So 10 millimeter and enter. So as you can see now, the sketch is fully defined. So now we are done with sketching our sweep part. The next step now is to sketch the sweep section. So now we then click on here, exit sketch, uh, exit sketch, and put it in trimetric view. Okay. So to create the strip section, so we come, we'll be creating it on the front plan no sorry on the right plan yeah so we click on the right plan then click sketch now we then click on this normal tool button that is to view it from the right plan so then to create the handle to create here looking at it uh, the shape is uh, like an oval shape so we use the ellipse feature so we come here we click ellipse and uh, click on any parts on the on the workspace and uh, click here mm. the dimensions don't matter now because we, we will use the smart dimension to get the accurate dimension then uh, here we click ok so now we then click on the smart dimension then from here from this point to this point uh, that we will be using 35 millimeter so 35 then enter and also the height from this point to this point we will be using 10 millimeter 10 millimeter then enter so, so now that's that is the strip section you click a click on smart direction then click on to view so now you now move move the the strip section together with the strip part. Okay. To do that, uh, let me zoom in. To do that, we have to add a relation from this point to to the strip part endpoint. So we now hold control. We click we click this point. Yeah, at this point, yeah, now this point. So under the add relations, we want it to be coincident. So you click coincident, then click OK. So as you can see now, the strip, the strip section, uh, it's it's now together with the strip part. So everything is ready to create our our sweep. So now we then exit the sketch. So you click exit sketch. Click exit sketch. And put it geometric view. Okay. Uh, so you can change the view. Change the view to the shaded with edges. So you click. Then you now click on sort box. Uh, this is. Uh, the profile for the for the strip section and here for the strip part. Now, now select on 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 the strip section. Select this part. Then you come here and select. Then the strip part should be this part or this line. Okay. Then under the options. You make sure that it, it follow path. Then, okay. Okay, now everything it's it, okay. So to remove the uh, the temporary axis line, you go to view. Then you click temporary axis, and everything is okay. So now that is how we use we use the search bus. The next step now is to create the 
this cut opening right here we will be using the extruded cut to, 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 to create this opening so first we, we click on extruded cut we click on extruded cut yeah then click on the surface because we want to start the cut inward from this surface so we click this surface then we click normal to okay we now we now come we now sketch a circle on this surface so we come here we click circle so at this point we click then we sketch a circle and we now choose we now click on smart dimension to select to to dimension the circle so the diameter of our circle will be 30 30 millimeter so we type 30 then enter and now we now go to the feature tab then click extruded cut mm. extruded cut then uh, to view it go to uh, click on trimetric view uh, as you can see the arrow is pointing downward that's because uh, I, I want to I, I want the cut to be downward uh, and also our depth the depth of the cut of the of the cut uh, we want it to be 25 25 millimeters so we call the type 25 uh, since uh, we don't want our cut to be a straight cut we want we will put uh, we, will, we will put a draft so we click here and then uh, we put a degree like our draft should be 15 degrees so we type 15 okay so putting a draft it means uh, the cut will not be a straight cut so you click ok so now we are done with the designing of this part in this video I showed you how to use the, the swept bus so in the next video I'll be showing you how to use the linear pattern and the circular pattern uh, thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe thank you